I would like to thank all of you for taking the time to spread the word about the disappearance of Madeline Maddie Kingsbury. Our search efforts have included people on foot, in vehicles, as well as by water and air. Madeline is a hardworking and um, dedicated mother. Family is everything to her. Uh, she's grown into an impressive and beautiful young woman. Please help us find Madeline. The children need their mother. <laughs> My sister is kind and quirky and caring and my best friend. Maddie Kingsbury, a young sorority girl from Winona State University, meets Adam Fravel, a young fraternity boy. They have two children. They were not married. Maddie was last seen the morning of Friday, March 31st. Maddie and Adam took the kids to daycare and dropped them off around 8 a.m. Hi, Relay. They got back to the house, and Adam said he saw Maddie go downstairs and where her home office was to work. He left, and he didn't see her again. They sent her this funny picture, and we were just kind of laughing back and forth about it. And that was at 8.15 that morning, and then I didn't hear anything else. Maddie's family and friends tried to contact Maddie throughout the day on March 31st without success. I sent a message to Adam. I said, hey, none of us have heard from Madeline all day. He said, I'm concerned too because I haven't heard from her. And so I'm at my parents, you know, with the kids. So I contacted a friend of Maddie's, her name's Katie. I said, I need you to go to her house and see if she's there. Nobody was home, so I called the police. I started sobbing at that point. They said that there was no sign of her, there was no sign of a struggle. We are very hopeful that we will find her. No stone is being left unturned. Who is Spencer Sullivan? Spencer Sullivan is a man that Madeline had started seeing. It was an on and off type situation um, because there were some times where she would tell me, I don't know if this is gonna work out because of Adam. We believe Maddie's disappearance is involuntary, suspicious, and we are using every tool at our disposal to find her. So I took to social media, TikTok mainly, Hey, TikTok, I'm uh, posting an update. I am out in Fillmore County. We still haven't found my sister. I mean, hundreds of thousands of people saw her TikToks. Almost 1,900 people signed up today to come look for my sister. And she was pleading with the public to help and pleading with everybody to take a look everywhere and anywhere for her sister. People just don't vanish. My sister is still missing. Police and other law enforcement are obviously still searching. Everyone's frustrated and we just can't figure out where she is. Maddie's still missing. I think it's day 68. I would talk to her when I was out looking for her. I wanted to be the one to find her. I didn't want anyone else in my family to find her. If it's gonna be one of us, please let it be me. This has gone on too long. We, we wanna bring her home.